is uh, Theodore Jankin, Oxygen Financial. Ted Jankin in studio uh, with us. He's usually here on Tuesdays, but he was traveling the country. And I uh, wanted to come in because as we get closer to Christmas times, you would like to let us all know the what proper way to tip people during the holiday season. Is that is that, is that the gimmick? Well, there's always a, a version of the proper way to tip people. But I have some uh, guidelines to go by here because some people uh, do the right thing and some people do the wrong thing. And some people don't know what to do during the holiday season. They Such get as? confused. Well, uh, you know, a good example is that uh, people that pick up your trash services, people don't know. Is it a good idea to? tip those people yes is it a bad idea and how do you do it uh, alcohol no whiskey. you don't give them yes. whiskey you give them cash <laughs> no you give them a card with cash in it that's or a gift card trash people you tip with alcohol so where do you put the alcohol when they yeah. come when they put out your <laughs> put it right there on top of the trash can say merry christmas with a card you got it do, do you know what kind of alcohol you give them because you would offend me if you gave me a bottle of vodka i'm like what the hell am i supposed to do with this not a trash guy dark liquor that dark liquor on the trash guy. Not bourbon, but whiskey. Whiskey? Yeah, usually no con whiskey. What about cognac? No, no, no. Whiskey. I, In no, my I, neighborhood, it's cognac. Just not, a bottle of Knob Creek or something like that <laughs> right on there. No, I'm not goofing, man. Every year, uh, I always tip the, the trash people a bottle of whiskey, and I put a little uh, sticky, a little yellow sticky note that says, Merry Christmas. Keep on dumping. No, <laughs> so anyway, I, I could be wrong. Am I wrong? Uh, you know, I haven't did not have that in my guidelines. You know, I would normally say some some small uh, cash gift. You know, one month's about what it charges you for the service, well, twenty five yeah. to fifty dollars. But what happens if you put the bottle on top of the yeah. top of the can? It's windy that night. It blows off. That's a what's a bottle? It doesn't blow. Why off. don't you just tape? Why don't you just tape a dime bag of marijuana on top of your trash? Because can. marijuana is illegal in the state I of Georgia. No, but it's like you shouldn't. Do you really give, give whiskey? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. You guys think it's so silly. I never heard that. Every year. That's a great gift. For, as a, for, as, since I was a kid, my mom would always give the trash people liquor, and that was always the go to. So that's, that's what I've always done. That's what I well, learned. Well, your mother probably was, you know, had a couple extra bottles, and she was just getting rid of one. Well, so. that's what she did. All the extra liquor that you normally don't drink, and if yeah. you don't have money to buy prizes for everybody, you just give them liquor. So that's what I've always thought. So anyway, go ahead. Next one. Yeah. Well, I sorry. Say, certainly we got another option here now. <laughs> so what? Yeah. You got liquor and what's the other? No, option? I mean, I, you normally would give cash or something like that or tape a gift card, something like that. A so gift that, card. Yeah. yeah. How do you know uh, where they like to shop? You, and just, I, no. you get the generic gift cards yeah. today. Yeah. Visa, American Express. That's what you do. Yeah. Oh. Visa. All right. I'm going. That's a good one. Now. It's a little whiskey. <laughs> what about uh, what about people that uh, cut your hair? The people during yes. the year that uh, maybe your hairstylist, hairdresser, they cut your hair. What's the right idea to give them? Double the tip that you normally give them. I usually give my girl five bucks. I would give her ten dollars for Christmas. Really? Yes. Right. You only give five bucks as a tip? Am I wrong? Well, or it depends, you, Steve. If you're going to is this a game? If you're going to Supercuts or somewhere like that, <laughs> it's only you know five five dollars. Where do you get your hair cut? Fabulous Frank's. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's I go to a salon. Really nice girl named Danielle. To move right. to Canada soon. I've always heard, aren't you supposed to, like, for Christmas time, you're supposed to tip as much as the service you got that yeah, that's day? That's right. Yes. It's about the cost of one yes. normal haircut. If your haircut that's is it. $40, that's right, Brandy. That's about the cost of what it should be. About one. And, Brandy, for women, if you get your hair colored or things like that, it should be a little bit more. That's why I do mine in the bathroom. Uh, by the way, I agree with you, but Bailey's going to come at you from the point of view of my frugal wife. Uh, Go. Question. Yeah, Mr. Frugal in the corner. Do you, if you use a coupon every time, do you double the amount? Before or after the what coupon? What it would cost. After the coupon, right? No. No, so no, if no. I get the original, if the cut, uh, it shows on the board that the cut is $35. That's what you The tip. tip should be about $35. Oh, it's not please. if you use a 50% coupon and it goes down what? to $20. You yes. don't say, well, I use a coupon, Hold so on. it's only $20 what? for the tip. man pays $35 to cut his hair? Steve. You're an idiot. I don't pay thirty five. No, I pay more than it's that. It's more than thirty five. It's right? more than that. Oh, it's more like fifty to sixty. Right? It's yeah, uh, including coloring. Mine's mine runs about. Both. What a woman! Once, once they hit a higher level, it costs it's about one hundred and twenty. Nate, what? what are we paying? I pay fourteen dollars. That a boy. Five dollar tip. Yeah, there you go. Where's it? Fourteen dollars. It's great. Great, great, great clips. clips. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I pay a little bit more. I pay twenty. <laughs> It's 19 if you get a wash because I go yeah. to the salon. I wash my own hair. You <laughs> pay <laughs> five dollars. Nate, you're the kind of guy that washes your hair with a bar of soap. <laughs> I would. That's how I learned when I was a kid too. Yeah, bar of soap. Yeah. Actually, I won't pay the extra to get my hair washed. I just tell him. I just tell him not to use shampoo. Yeah. And just get the hair out. You should oh water. Yeah, I just God. tell him I'm going to the gym later. Yeah. Okay, next Don't thing. Why don't both y'all go out in the field and just cut a bar of Irish Spring with a 
pocket well, knife and well, do a commercial. Some of us don't make the money that you two I, rollers make. I see this is more helpful than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> no, what you do is you just take care of certain things, and there's certain uh, uh, shampoos kids. and conditioner. And I understand if you got kids, and I get that, but mm. if you do go to somebody this time of year, it is a right nice, thoughtful, it's the right thing to do. We didn't invest in a Floby last year, so the kids <laughs> don't have to actually go out. We cut the hair at the house. He Flobies. All right, how about, uh, how about a postal worker? How about your postal worker drops off Absolutely. the mail every day? Absolutely. Yes. Box of cookies. See, he gave okay, box of cookies. But see, I think that they would be scared. Like, Bailey brought me in some eggnog pound cake from where he went out to yeah. dinner last Sweet night. Sweet tomatoes. Sweet tomatoes. Kind. But I trust him, therefore I'll eat anything he gives me. But as a postal worker, somebody that doesn't know you're going to eat food, usually food's a bad gift. Uh, I think it's a fantastic. It's like they, the so called listener food. When a listener comes up here and brings you a pound cake mm -hmm. or a fruit cake, you don't really just go biting into it. But uh, technically, they can't receive more than $20 anyway. So no matter what you want to give them. Oh, don't worry about it. Cookies don't cost anywhere near $20. <laughs> but do you, do, should you wait on them and then hand it to them and thank yeah, or them? Or put it in the box like you would, you know, put out a, a mail or something that they were going to take away. You can leave it in the mailbox for them. Actually, okay. we're, we're clever and we put the, you know, on the address on the cookie box to them. It says to the male person or not at. so clever <laughs> I thought it was clever anyway what's the next one unbelievable well uh, for those that uh, have some sort of maid service or a housekeeper it's important that you tip them at this time of year too it's people that come there are a lot of people in the area that will have someone that come once a month or but, some I'm already, have them. but I'm already giving my wife something for Christmas <laughs> wow that was good that was good. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Ranch. That's just funny. This is right there. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you got to do it. It's just funny. It's for the show. Did. Everybody's it's laughing right now. Like, God, what a dick. I'm laughing. Uh, I'm laughing because you're in trouble. How much do you give me? But typically, I would say at How least uh, about, about, about one half. One half of the cost of cleaning. You know, if they're if the service is about a hundred dollars, the tip of about fifty dollars uh -huh. is about right. If somebody is cleaning your house, and again, remember they're in your house, so you want to think about what uh, you dip them. Yeah, and you do that, and you can build a relationship like. I had the same maids for like 12 or 14 years that would come in just because I'm not good at cleaning things, so I paid somebody to do it. But they it got to the point where they were going to Brazil and bringing me back gifts, <clears throat> and I would give them gifts. I mean, it really can become, because they, they do have a key to your house. Yeah, I, I have no and idea what you guys in, are talking about. they're in now. your house. <laughs> they're in your stuff. We clean, we clean our own house. It's not very, yeah. I don't know how you can not be good at throwing some squirt squirt stuff down and wiping it up I, I, why would you hire somebody to come clean your house when you can do it yourself groupon's got good deals do you pay them the groupon or do you do you pay them again what's on the board no you got to pay them what's on the board if the service if they oh. charge you 80 dollars to clean your house you've got to tip them about half it's not that you, the groupon cuts them down to 40 dollars. you don't tip them 20 dollars. Yeah. Okay. Wow. and by the way i fired my maid Oh. My wife does it now. What has that feel and fire me? I don't know what that means. Well, I didn't fire him. I let him go. And I said, honey, I've had them since 2000. I let him go last it's year. It's kind of the same thing. And, right. and she's like, I'm here. I can clean the house. There's no need to do that anymore. Wasn't that part of nice. the, the sign up with marriage? I mean, that's in the contract, right? Um, that was job. her call. Yeah. Okay. I was allowing the maid to well, stay. Well, you were telling me, like, well, she better. That's her job, right? That's part Shut of... Shut up. <laughs> he's, he's trying to get me in trouble. <laughs> he's trying who else? Who else needs help? Well, how about uh, if you have if you have children? What do you do today with teachers? You know, uh, oh, that time point. of year. So you're supposed to give something to your teachers. Now, my my okay. mother was a fifth grade school teacher for a long time, and I remember she used to come home with some good stuff and some really bad stuff. I mean, way back in the day, Steve will appreciate this. There was Jean Nate Cologne in there. You know, the uh, oh yeah, they used to get it at like the pharmacy. That's mm -hmm. what people would get for teachers. But now the question is today: What do you give to the teachers? Uh, one of two things: either an apple. Or a Swarovski crystal. <laughs> what? <laughs> Both are fantastic gifts for teachers. Those are teacher gifts. Actually, they, they're trying to cut it down. You have to find out today. A lot of people, because people have different financial, uh, you know, economic status. Sure. The schools don't want to have every kid to come in with something. So one kid gives the teacher something oh, really great and not so generally. They give class gifts today more than anything. So you find out what the class gifts are. But something small is always appreciated. How about a handgun? <laughs> so they yeah. can keep it in their desk. Uh, or taser, a, is, a good taser. Yeah. No, I think you should. I think when you give teachers things, maybe you should do it private. You know, it shouldn't be in front of the class. Just do it private, especially if you're going to get yeah, a gift everybody card. walks up during class like they did in the but Christmas story. But he's right. Story. If one kid's giving her something nicer than the other kid, that's not fair. Big old fruit basket or something. That's always nice. All right. More of this on the website, right? Yeah, absolutely. We have these tips. And at this time of year, we have our top 10 most overlooked tax deductions. you got a couple weeks left in the year. Yeah. Boy, now yeah, we're coming time. down. Yeah. yeah. Now's the time to figure out what you can save so you can pay a little bit less to Uncle Sam. All of that and more will answer your questions at Oxygen. 
oxygenfinancial.net. Mm. There you go. James on Twitter. I always give a bottle of uh, liquor to the trash guys, too, so not alone on that one. If you can hand it to him, you just don't leave it out. What if a kid comes by on his bicycle and grabs it? Well, he shouldn't be drinking. He's too young. <laughs> the lucky kid. <laughs> uh, Steve MZ coming up here 